Hello, Latin developer. Welcome back again uh, with Flutter series. We'll be using Flutter. Okay, in this video, we will continue our last video. Uh, exactly, we can uh, create a repository and Flutter project. So, uh, before we create the Flutter project, we can create the repo at GitHub. And then uh, I will uh, put the link in the description video. Calibri Flutter. Oops. This. And then we can choose here, dark, and create repository. Okay. Uh, this is the link for a uh, repo today and then uh, we can copy then we move the github desktop to clone this repo okay after that don't forget to open your android studio okay here we can click clone repository and we can paste here and we make sure about the where is we save the the file okay we go to flutter apps and we click here and as then and then we clone this one okay after we clone uh, we have connected connect it with uh, our repo and then we will create the new project and we will save to this repo okay uh, we close this we can create new project yeah okay um please make sure that your android studio has been uh, support to flutter uh, you can download the flutter sdk uh, from the flutter dev here you can see the tutorials or docs uh, docs here and you can just get started and then you can choose the your operation system then uh, for example the mac here and then you can download uh, the sdk and then do the uh, several uh, instruction here and after that you must make sure that your plugin has been downloaded uh, dart and flutter uh, here need to update but I think that I will update it later okay um, after then after this uh, we can we will create new flutter project and then here is SDK page make sure that your SDK page is true and then next here you can see the project project name we can create here is like a library mobile apps then for project location make sure that you has um, you you uh, put the the repo right uh, which you cloned before Okay, this is the our repo and library flutter apps and then we open and then uh, make sure that your organization name here uh, come that you coding you coding is my office so uh, we can create here come that you coding and then uh, make sure that your Android language you can choose uh, one of them one of uh, these two option here you can choose Kotlin and then you choose Swift and if you want to web you can check this here 
but the default this is only uh, for the Android and iOS but uh, if you so want to support the web you can check this here but for Linux Mac OS on Windows this is the for desktop if you want also to enable you can uh, using this command line okay after we make sure that this is the has been Uh, for finish, uh, we uh, the system will creating flat files, but sometimes it's also slow. It's depend uh, with your laptop uh, exactly. Okay, this is still gradle and analyzing and synchron. Um, Okay, beside that, we can see the here, Flutter GitHub, you can see there are so many files that uh, has been added to here. So we can uh, push here, start the project. We click on commit, and then uh, we can push. Okay, we can push here. Yeah. Okay, after push, you can see in this repo, there are will uh, several file has been uploaded. Okay, this is our project here. So, uh, back to our Android Studio or our Flutter project. Uh, this is the default, right? After we create the project, we choose the project here. And here, there are so many sub menu or folder here but the main thing here is uh, about the Android Android folder iOS folder and lib and web and also the passback here dot yaml here uh, mostly for the Android we only set uh, for mine then rest Dribble it's to change uh, our background, our launcher, or our logo uh, like this. We can choose with the another logo or image, and then we can make sure at our Android manifest here. This is our package we, we create uh, at the fields when we create the Flutter project, and then uh, for the Android manifest, also we, we will. Uh, if we, we need the permission, we will declare at the Android manifest. Um, and the last one, I think in Android, we setting the Gradle uh, or library here. And next, for the iOS, um, that almost same with the Android here. Uh, we only need to configure our permission at uh, folder runner and then info that police you can see here there are so many key uh, bundle bundle name and other if we want to take uh, like camera or uh, google drive uh, not drive yeah, like um, uh, photos or library you can define here uh, about your permission and what the string the string means that uh, what the uh, permission uh, title or description and then uh, we move to the folder lib uh, folder lib is the main folder for our flutter project because everything we must cut here and the lib uh, folder uh, if you have uh, like many class or many feature for your projects you can create a sub menu here or folder here so your cut will be uh, clean and good okay uh, for the webs it's also I think that the same thing uh, if you want to change your logo or image you can uh, change here and also if you want to change the your number your your web num uh, your web name or other uh, you can change uh, here also and the last thing is about the passback.yml 
and this is the also the main thing for the flutter project because everything that dependencies uh, we need we must declare here and also for the phone and for image like this we also must declare here uh, like this okay um, after this uh, we can see that uh, when we create the project uh, we can see this template or several code uh, i will tell you after this about the all uh, of this code mean but uh, if you have uh, finished you can like uh, see or running this code and also you can uh, see the the layout or UI for this project okay we can choose uh, our available uh, runner running here um, that flutter chrome is web version and android uh, ios simulator and then after this uh, you can choose uh, play or run button here okay after this we can uh, waiting after the debugging success If you have an uh, Android emulator or like an uh, Android device, when you want to run, you can see the many options here. But for me, uh, only available two tabs: only web and iOS emulator because I don't uh, I don't have uh, Android emulator here because it will uh, make my Mac or, or my PC will heavy so I don't install it uh, but if I need to run an Android developer uh, Android device uh, I, I mean that Android apps version uh, I will uh, using the Android device and this is the Definitely, uh, this is the web version for our Flutter project. Uh, you don't need a uh, setting or anything for the Flutter web because it will automatically, when we download the new SDK Flutter project, and make sure that your instruction uh, or here uh, is that uh, the code and that true i think that uh, will be run like this okay you can see here after we running uh, for the web version we can see that uh, this layout here and this is mostly is uh, responsible because the uh, not responsible i mean that responsive because uh, when we uh, try like this this is the web version uh, this is the our first project and I will uh, put the github repo on the video description okay I think that's all for this video thank you